We're going to look at creating ortho images from scans. Uh, one of the first things we need to do is get a 3D view open. I have one here of a vehicle crush. We're going to go to the top view. Once we get to the top view, I want you to make sure that you have a clipping box selected. The clipping box is basically a picture frame. And I'm showing you the, the frame that I've selected around this particular vehicle. I'm going to show you that from a 3D perspective as well. Now I'm going to turn the visibility of the clipping box off. I'm going to go back to a top view. Now another thing that I have done, I'll click outside the, uh, the vehicle to turn off the clipping box adjusting arrows. I went to uh, right click on the screen, I went to visibility settings, and I turned off the camera positions by going to the extra tab, clicking scan positions, and there they're on. I unchecked scan positioned and click apply, click OK. That way the scan positions are not shown in your ortho. To create the ortho, click on the apps icon, the upper right section. Next, find orthographic photo. Click on that. Click create an ortho photo. Make sure you select your clipping boxes, especially if you have more than one. Make sure you've selected the correct clipping box. That is your picture frame. Next, change it from metric units to imperial. It's your choice whether or not you want to show a scale on the image. I typically do. And then click on Create Ortho Photo. It will ask you where you want to put the ortho photo and what you want to call it. In our case, we've got a Toyota, a damaged Toyota, and I'm going to type in at the very beginning of this Toyota Ortho Photo underscore feet and click. Uh, oh, by the way, this. Uh, Gives you an option to choose TIFF, PNG, JPEG, or Windows Bitmap. We're going to use TIFF because that comes into Pharaoh's on 3D automatically scaled. We'll go ahead and click Save. And Scene will start creating the ortho. Now, depending on how big your scene is, this may take some time. Now, I'll click on Return. I'll click Project and click on Path. And here I see my ortho photo. If I double click on that, that brings this up in a Windows Picture Viewer. And that is a scaled top down view ortho image of my damage. I'll minimize these windows and I'll go open Pharaoh Zone 3D. I'll click New. I'll choose Import. I'll choose Scene TIFF. I'll go find my ortho image and place it anywhere on your screen. You can change the XYZ value if you like in the property section. It's not necessary or required. Now I'm already working in 2D, so this makes it really simple for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this around uh, to a, a 90 degree rotation and in the image properties you can also type in 90 or grab the red uh, ball and rotate be careful not to grab any of these handles the sizing handles or you'll change the scale of your image and because this is scaled I'll zoom in here and show you that's showing uh, 10 inches so if I change my units to inches and I click on the measuring tool, and that is exactly 10 inches on those inside boundaries. So that's confirmed. Now I can start working with the crush. I can go to the power tools, click on the crush tool. We'll kind of just do this uh, quickly to go deflection to deflection. I'll turn off the free space for now to kind of give you an idea of how this would be adjusted. And 
C1 and C6 would be zero by the crash degree protocol. So now we have our vehicle crush.